Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, Dave and, well, I didn't feel like streaming today. I'm not feeling so well, but I can do a cast for YouTube. And this is just a random ranked game. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Yo is playing against Vivi and it's Bengalis against Spanish. So it's a very interesting matchup here. Uh, and I know YouTube people might enjoy this more because they don't like, you know, me talking to Twitch chat or all the alerts. Some of you, anyway, um, don't enjoy that. Obviously, I have to try and strike a balance while I'm streaming, right? If you haven't checked out my stream, twitch.tv slash Dave underscore AOE. That's where I am. Sell it over. <laughs> anyway, let's look at the maps here. We've got Vivi playing as Spanish. He's over here in the south, and he's going to be playing in the red color. He's got a decent base, right? The berries are forward, which is quite annoying. And uh, he does have a back gold and a back stone. And we know that Vivi absolutely loves to play Fast Castle Unique Unit, or maybe like Drush FC Unique Unit, on Arabia with some big walls. That's one of the builds that uh, we see most frequently from him. Now, Yo is a very interesting civilization against the Spanish. He's Bengalis, and one of the common uh, counters to conquistadors are monks. And of course, the Bengalis get a great monk tech tree, and they get the armor on their monks. So the conquistadors, I don't know if it affects how many hits it takes them to kill a monk. I think monks without sanctity still die? No, they wouldn't die. Into Yeah, so I guess the armor would make it a 3 hit instead of a 2 hit on the monks. Since the conks are doing 16 damage and the monks have 3 pierce armor. So that's very interesting. Um, Bengalis could be a solid option against conquistadors. If Vivi is even going to go for that strategy, of course. He has to push his deer from... All the way in the middle of the map here. Yo's deer are... Where are Yo's deer? All the way back here. In a safer location. Yo. Looks like he's going for some big walls over here. Let's see what he can spot. He can't spot that there's a wood line there. But it's very strange he's gone for the house over here. Kind of feels like he wants to wall all the way to the edge and play. Maybe a more defensive game himself. Maybe now coming out here for this boar. He's still trying to push in this deer. Of course, the other deer is in a very annoying position. Looks like he almost got that into his TC and then it went back. It's wounded, of course. Been shot once by the villager. And doesn't seem as if either player is really gearing up for too much aggression. Yo, just finding those sheep. He's still got a couple back here that he can take. And I guess this guy went back. So I guess he walked all the way out there for a solo dolo house, and then he's going to go back again. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe he thought he would find a wood line or something over here he could wall to. Maybe? Well, he's got a lot on food. Only three on the wood line, so this will be feudal pressure of some sort. It's not just going to be a full wall. Um, into FC. So we're not going to see that build from Vivi. He's going to go up on 19 population. Getting Loom now. Feudal Age will follow after. Mr. Yo, probably going to go up on 20 population. And Bengalis do get an additional two villagers when they reach the Feudal Age. And his economy should be ahead, even if he's a little bit slower than Vivi. He should be fine. Especially with a base that maybe he could wall up quite easily, right? Wall here between these two wood lines protects the gold. And then you can just wall towards your TC if you're nervous, or maybe wall here as well. And just kind of shut down this whole area. You get two wood lines access, and you get your gold fairly easily. All right, Yo is coming out now. He's extending it. He's found the wood line, so he knows he can wall this way. He can wall there. And he's going to be safe on that side. And then all he has to worry about is this area right here. He might even wall in the center with his barracks as part of it. Moving his scout forward and finding the secondary gold from Vivi. I think that's Vivi's. It shouldn't be Yo's. Yeah, Yo's secondary gold is back here. He's also finding the berries at the front. So he has a target to hit and he sees the wood line as well from Vivi. There's another one back here, of course, as he spots that main gold too. Vivi should be opening scouts here. That would make sense, right? 
and I believe if he gets if he gets horse collar and he gets double bed axe, will he have enough gold for bloodlines without going out to gold? That's interesting. I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure how much gold Spanish get back <laughs> on their text. I I knew the number and I've forgotten the number. So and I don't have a live chat to do the math for me. So I'm just gonna wonder as we'll see double bed axe coming in and that'll give us the answer. Um, how much gold he's going to get from that. He has found a villager over here attacking the wall. So he's going to prevent the wall from coming down and keep that villager kind of penned in in this little area. Mr. Yo also going for a stable, adding in some spearmen. And of course, with those two extra vills, Vivi knows he's already behind. And he will have enough for bloodlines. So it's 20 gold, I guess. Everyone's probably laughing at me. Of course it's 20 gold that the Spanish get from their techs. It's still a new upgrade. Cut me some slack. I I have been playing this game for so long that I just... It's hard to keep up, you know? Hard to keep up with all of the new upgrades. And new balance changes. Mr. Yo is tracking the Spearman. Really doesn't want to let that in. And he won't. Hello, Wolf? Please don't tell me this goes after Yo's Spearman. Oh, that's... Dude, the Spearman from Vivi was closer to it, too. He ran by it first. What was the delay? The wolf was, like, pondering. Someone check that wolf's bank account, man. It's colluding. Big walls from both. Big, big walls from both. Yo's gonna have his wall down. And he's gonna have only one scout so far, so he might... With this wall complete, you might just think, well, do I really need to make scouts? And the answer is yes, I suppose. He's going to make another one simply for map control and to figure out what his opponent is doing. But he's going to be completely secured with a gold behind here, a stone behind here. He's got a couple woodline options to take. These ones obviously not going to be safe long term if he goes for range units. But he does have another gold back here, here too, and he's got other woods that might be safe if Vivi decides to push forward. Yo's in a pretty good spot. Vivi, he will be in a pretty good spot when he gets these walls down, and he's working away. He's going to complete this one, looks like, without any problems. Obviously, the front wall is complete. And this side wall, well, he's got all his military over here protecting it. Yo shouldn't be able to do too much damage over here, and I don't think Yo is going to be here with the scouts fast enough. To really cause any serious headaches for Vivi. Especially with still a Spearman here distracting and three scouts over on this side. Maybe Yo could get in. It's still open here, Vivi, by the way. Like, do you not re- Ah, he doesn't know! He doesn't know it's still open. And it is a headache, after all, because the scouts from Yo have more HP. There's another scout coming from Vivi. Oh, Vivi, it's rough. It's really rough here. As he loses another scout, and Yo's going to have a couple left over. Is it enough to kill this villager? I think it is. Oh, wow. So annoying, right? It's clearly a hole here, but Vivi clearly didn't realize it was. And he loses the villager in addition to four scouts, and Yo still has two left over and a spearman. Now, I don't think Yo can do any follow-up damage, but Vivi is going to be forced into making more military. The quick walls, the wood line there, and he's still not covered over on this side. And Yo, of course, is ahead in villagers. Not only because of the villager he killed, but the two that he got upon advancing to Feudal Age. So Yo's in a fantastic spot. Scouting back here, we'll see that um, Vivi is not on the stone yet. And he's still being so annoying with these scouts. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Where is the spearman from Vivi? It's slowly waddling over. I like this too. Yo is just hanging out on that stone. He's like, oh, you want to go to stone? I'm going to know. I'm going to know if you go to stone. I'm going to track that. If you're going to go into conks. Vivi has gotten that wall down and he's going to complete this one. He has another stone over here if he wants to be super sneaky. But I don't know if that's necessary. Market is coming up now for Vivi. He's got some villagers on the gold, and he keeps being harassed by these two scouts over here. But he's finally stabilized. Mr. Yo, 
on the way to Castle Age. Still has a villager lead. Does not have horse collar though. He's only getting that now. So all of these farms, these 11 farms, are going to expire a little bit earlier than Vivi's. As Vivi clicks up to Castle Age and Vivi is not moving out towards stone. Or is he? Or is he? <laughs> he is! And Yo's going to spot that. Yo is going to spot that. Vivi will kill the, kill the spearman, but Yo will see the mining camp. And he's going to be like, ah, I see. I know exactly what you're up to, my friend. No surprises here. And now the question is kind of like, what does Yo go into with 12 on gold? I feel like this is going to be mugs. That's a lot of villagers on gold, right? So we might have ourselves a little clowny Arabia game here. Be very nice to see. I don't think there's any world in which Vivi can go forward with the castle. He might actually opt to go for TCs first and play a little bit more of a greedy approach. Yo is definitely going for two TCs. He could go for two TCs additionally and two monasteries and he's sending villagers forward too like oh boy yo's got an amazing eco setup also 75 population limit so he's not going to be worried about getting housed anytime soon he still has spearmen here to protect his villagers forward because he knows there's at least one scout from vivi hanging around and it's double monastery for yo additional tcs here and he could even afford another one. In addition to Heavy Plow and Bosa. Wow. Yo's eco is crazy. He could even go for another town center if he wanted to. And there it is. Oh, boy. So, plus four villagers on Vivi because of the ones he received for free. The one he killed has kind of been negated by the idle TC time from Yo. But still, Vivi is forced into going scouts, and if you're up against Bengali monks, well, you're going to want Light Kev. You are definitely going to want Light Kev, because scouts just feel so underwhelming against these monks with the armor, especially once they get Sanctity, and Sanctity is on the way. No. Yeah, Sanctity and Fervor on the way. Wow. Okay, Vivi, I really want to see what you do here. It could be a situation... Where he goes like Cav, finds himself a good engagement, and then comes forward with a castle. And then maybe Yo has some issues, right? If a castle comes up here or something, cutting off that gold could be really bad. But, I mean, this is going to be really tough for Vivi to overcome. Wheelbarrow is coming in for Vivi, which means his villagers will be moving faster for that forward castle. If he chooses to go for that. And the light caver coming in. This is very important for Vivi to get the snipe. And he... Oh, Bengali monks. Bengali monks. He gets the monk eventually, but needs to delete this, right? Surely you delete that. He doesn't. He gets away. He gets away and he's getting husbandry. And the light cap dies anyway. Four monks in the queue for Yo. TCs are working. Forward castle. Not a possibility at the current moment. He's going to go for a defensive one and he's going to go for another town center. So Vivi will be booming up behind this. Yo is laughing though. Like, usually when you're double monastery and pushing, your eco behind is trash. Yo's eco is not trash. Yo has three TCs producing. He needs maybe some more farms, but he's got gold in the bank. If he drops a market, he can balance his eco with that. And he probably needs a market. If you're playing into monks. But uh, so far the balance has been really nice for him. Another outpost over here from Mr. Yo. Just to keep tabs on the expansion from Vivi. Also want to see those light cab coming in quickly. So you can stop them. As Vivi sees these two villagers. He also has light cab just kind of hanging out near this relic. If Yo wants to go for it. But now with that outpost. And with town watch. Well. Yo can track these light cab. And it's like four hit kills with Sanctity on the monks from the Light Cab. That's brutal. That gives your opponent so much time to convert you. As Yo now goes for a Siege Workshop. Very Yo-esque Siege Workshop. It's on the side of the base rather than the front. And he's going to start harassing from this area. It's going to be so difficult for Vivi. Like, Vivi's got some conks now. We talked about the conks having to uh, fire additional shots to kill the... The galley monks 
And now Vivi is coming in, and Vivi is going to try and take out this monk. He's going to get one. Does he get a second one? He does, but he loses a light cav along the way. Now Yo will attempt to block those light cav with his own. It's not going to work out. And another monk goes down, so not the worst engagements here for Vivi. Also might find these forward villagers, which could be really bad. It's an armored elephant play here for Yo, as Vivi continues queuing up conks. Vivi has been able to produce from his TCs, and Vivi is even on villagers to Mr. Yo, only missing heavy plow. So the economy is here. While I thought Mr. Yo would be significantly ahead, it's actually Vivi who's leading in the villager count right now. Oh, that monk doesn't go down, and Vivi comes back. He got a little greedy there. He pulled away at the last second, though. As the conks are coming out, the conks are not going to find a hole into Yo's base. There is nothing. There's nothing to be found. He's patched all of the holes that he had at the front there. And now the armored elephant is something that uh, Vivi might struggle to deal with. Oh my god. Lightcap gets converted. I guess that monk had charged up on him and then chased him across over there. It's a siege workshop here for Vivi. He knows the siege workshop. It's it's gonna be a slight counter to the elephants, but Yo could just get redemption, and he'd be fine. Or Yo could just you know go up to Imperial Age and get a castle of his own. He controls the entire middle section of this map. He might be able to come forward with villagers, and do really well against this. With Imperial Age on the way, that could be sick too. It is redemption play though for Mister Yo. So he spends his gold on redemption rather than going up to the next stage. Yo trying to convert the conks. He gets one, but he loses three monks in the process. And now, well, the mangonels are very exposed. The elephant is extremely exposed, and the monks are dead there. Yo is coming forward with the castle, but... I mean, he needs to buy himself a lot of time because these conks are going to come back this way. And this Conquistador is going to see that Castle Foundation, surely, right? No, he pulls it away! He pulls it away at the last second. Tragic. Vivi will not see that. And Vivi is busy getting... Forging. Yo is on the way up to Imperial Age. And Yo doesn't have any holes that Vivi could run through back here. I never noticed this little camel in the stable. Like, this is the guy at the supermarket that always has to back into the parking spot. This camel. <laughs> it takes like It takes like three minutes for them to back in and you're waiting behind them and you're just like, just pull in, dude. Come on now. Just pull in. That maybe was an ill-advised push with the light cav, but... I guess he's going to take out not one, not two, not three, but maybe four monks here. Only three monks. Also a castle over on this side to get access to some gold from Vivi. He has the castle here, of course. He still isn't up to the next stage. And he does know about that castle now as his conks are kind of running around in this area. He's got a lot of conquistadors, though. Twelve conquistadors. Does have bloodlines. I believe he has husbandry as well. And Yo will simply go for more monks. Monks and Trebs, the name of the game. Yo has monks over here. He's going to try and convert. Vivi losing some conquistadors is killing a bunch of monks, however. And it's only two monks on the field now for Mr. Yo. Mr. Yo got, got pikemen. Got the pikemen upgrade. He got squires and forging on the way. Also hand carts, so his eco is going to be insane. But Vivi's eco, in terms of villager count, is superior, right? 96 villagers versus 84. Gets a couple more monks, and it's only two monks on the field again for Mr. Yo. Trebuchet will be coming out. Vivi will be thinking about Imperial Age. And 39 on food? My man has done a, a really great job macroing behind this and getting his farm count up. Also, a handcart coming in. Still trying to punch through. 
illumination, block printing. Oh boy. This might, <laughs> I mean, if you have this many conks, this might even be, I know you want to go up to Imperial Age, but like heresy could be really good here. Heresy just feels so wrong on Arabia though, where there's a limited amount of gold. When you want to go up to the next age, it feels so wrong, right? Light Caver dying over here. Converted Conquistador causing some problems. Monks are now here with block printing, and Vivi, Vivi's just simply going to get units converted. Like, you just have to brace yourself for the fact that you're losing three conks there. If Bengali monks are converting you from the extended range with block printing, you're simply losing those conks. Fortunately, he has enough with 19 still. And he's getting heresy! Oh, the balls on this guy! I should have known. Vivi's got the guts to go for heresy here. Of course he does. It's Vivi. He's going to delay his Imperial Age. He's going to get heresy, and then he's going to look for some real big engagements when Yo tries to push out this way. Now, Yo has enough stone for a castle. This isn't a fantastic position for Vivi. But if Yo comes forward with a big group of monks and he feels really confident, Vivi can punish him with the Kongs. Ram is here working away on the Trebs. Kongs trying to kill them. Trying to get rid of the Treb numbers, which could be really good. And it feels like one is going to go down. The Ram is still pushing against that, but the Pikemen are driving the Conquistadors away. And Yo will repair those casually behind this. There is a castle here from Yo as well, but Vivi could theoretically run through. And if Vivi runs through with Heresy on his conks, that would be terrible for Mr. Yo. Vivi will see that castle. He's not going to run through now with stone walls behind. More monks on the way. Imperial Age on the way for Vivi. Oh, wow. What a great game to spectate. What a random game that I found myself in. I like it. It's a very, very interesting one. Trebs are working away on the castle. Vivi can't afford to lose this, right? He's got a second castle back here, more defensively now, but he kind of wants to continue the conch production. And he's just, he's just pulling these monks further and further back. He's got the conks coming from this side and Vivi might choose to engage now. Yo still hasn't seen that Vivi has heresy. He does have another monk converting the siege workshop. And Vivi's got the light cap ready to pounce. It's still 121 villagers against 120. Ecos are very similar, but Vivi is running out of time. Two monks go down over here. Castle goes down as well. Maybe he's got a lot of res. What can he do with that res, though? What can he do with it? Does he go for a tech switch? Does he go for, like, chemistry hand cannons? I, I don't know. I don't know. The halbs make it so difficult to just YOLO in against these trebs, right? The monks have omega range. It's very difficult. Fletching is on the way for Vivi, so it could be a skirm play. Oh, boy. It could be elite conquistador play as well, which is, I mean, it's a good unit. Is it really that good though? Can it save your, can it save your hide from this? I, I don't know. More monks are going down. Like Vivi's done a pretty good job not getting converted and sniping monks from Mr. Yo. And it is, it's heresy elite conquistador. We also have supremacy coming from Vivi. He is going conks and vils to stop this push from Mr. Yo. Spanish skirmishers coming in as well. That's actually sick. Now, he doesn't have the final armor upgrade on the conks. Otherwise, they would be fully upgraded conks. Right? They get the speed. They got the HP. They got the armor. They got heresy as well. Very rare that we see fully upgraded anything in this game. With the monastery text included. I guess faith could be huge too. Faith, I don't know if Spanish get faith, but that could count. 
before it's fully upgraded. And Vivi is now coming forward with the villagers. You know how Sappers affects Rams now and gives villagers extra damage against Rams? It should also give them extra damage against Trips. As the villagers need to retreat. 119 villagers for Vivi. He's replacing that TC. He's still trying to push in this way and Yo still has that problem. Of like, what do you do if the conks get in, right? Ratha or not? <laughs> These are elite conks, my friend. Or no, they're not! He cancelled it! He cancelled it! Oh no! I was so excited about that. They're still deadly. They're still regular conks. And the Ratha aren't going to do a, a whole lot against them. Well, there are quite a few Ratha here now. Maybe they could. Maybe they'll be enough. Or maybe they won't. <laughs> Chemistry's in, though, making them a little better, I suppose. More Wrath on the way for Mr. Yo. Look at the map control for Mr. Yo. All of this stuff over here, they're, they're coexisting on this stone. But Yo is adding lots and lots of stables. Could go into Light Cav. Unlikely to go into Elephants. He's got 42 on food now. Vivi's down to 30 on food. And Vivi's going to continue to try and kill villagers back here. But Elite Ratha is on the way for Mr. Yo. And he goes for another castle here. Vivi just like, he invested so much in Castle Age in terms of food and gold. Especially with, once he got to Imp too, getting Supremacy. That it's like, it's hard for him to make any serious tech switches. Or get any serious production up. There is skirmishers here, and he did build another castle in that same spot, but look at the resources from Yo. I mean, it's almost elephant archerable. Right now, it seems like he wants to go into Rathas. And this is actually quite a nice tower with the full upgrades. Gonna be able to clear some bills over here. But Vivi is just in survival mode for the last little bit. He's still alive, though. Survival mode has worked up until this moment. The KD is firmly in his favor. He's had some pretty good macro behind it. It's been really impressive, the fact that he's managed to just keep this eco churning throughout this whole process. Guard tower coming in for Vivi. Guard tower, is that really... I mean, I guess it's not that expensive of a tech to get, but still, your ta your one tower is dead, my friend. Your tower is now dead. Final armor upgrade coming in for the skirms. And skirms, they do really well against Ratha. They do. These are elite Ratha here. Now, I know there was some changes um, to the Ratha. It said they take less skirm damage. But I was also told that that was kind of a bug. So we'll see. They have been switched to melee mode. They're still kind of dying to skirms here. But they have the skirms fully surrounded. Which means some of those skirms can't attack. Because it's minimum range. And the Ratha will do really well against that. Vivi was not set up to take that fight. He was not set up to take that fight at all. And the Ratha have... Well, they've churned right through those skirmishers. Another castle here from Vivi. Uses his stone on a castle instead of guard towers, and Vivi's kind of fallen apart. His villagers are tough to kill because they have supremacy, so there's that, right? Like, Monk under the TC, never a good sign. <laughs> heresy, I forgot about heresy. She refuses to work in the Yo Empire. Vivi trying to tech into Hussar. He's got 45 on food now. Villagers still incredibly difficult to kill. And Murder Holes might have actually been a useful tech this game. For that tower and for this castle as well. But uh, the Ratha are now here. And he's going to have to... He's angered Mr. Yo and now he's going to have to deal with his Ratha. <clears throat> See, I don't need live viewers to make stupid jokes. I can do that all by my lonesome. 
Baby trying to hold on. Again, he's been doing this all game. He's simply trying to hold. And he does have another army at the front. 31 military for him, 57 for Mr. Yo. Also has some light cap rating over here. Plus three armor is going to help. But Siege Engineer is coming in for Yo. He has double castle forward. He's got control of the golds. He's got five relics. And he's got res for days. This is almost elephantable. You know your you know your opponent does not have pikemen or halb researched, right? You know they're only skirm and light cav. You have that much res in the bank and all of these stables. It's almost worth it to just try and invest into elephants once, right? We see elephant archers all the time. Battle elephants, way more rare. But Bengalis can do it. And it's Siege Elephants instead. Okay, so a, di a different, more tanky kind of elephant should still be good. These Rathas are basically the core part of your army as well if you're Mr. Yo. And right now, I mean, Vivi doesn't really have that much to deal with them. Vivi's still being raided over here, but he fights on. He fights on. If he gets sappers right now, his villagers should do pretty good against the armored elephant, right? Do they count as a ram for sappers to affect them? They should. Another thing I don't know. <laughs> Rathas are frying everything. The skirms just aren't enough in those numbers. Maybe he's still trying to chase Yo around his base. Double Siege Workshop now coming forward for Mr. Yo. Villagers are... Villagers are doing a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> and that elephant didn't stand a chance, bro. <laughs> GG being called from Vivi. It was a fantastic game. I cannot remember once seeing that many conks and heresy come in on Arabia. I, that's very, very rare. I would have loved to see what would happen if he did get the Elite Conquistador upgrade. I think that uh, Yo would have had a lot of problems dealing with this stuff in the back. But it also took Rez away that Vivi needed to switch into Skirm, which kept him alive a li little bit longer, right? Great attempt from Vivi. Yo, I mean, he just read the map perfectly. He got it set up. He knew Vivi wasn't going to be playing anything super, super aggressive. And by the time he hit Castle Age, being able to go for two additional TCs, Heavy Plow, Bow Saw, two Monasteries, Sanctity, and Fervor right away, absolutely insane. Like, just absolutely insane. And then the transition onto Stone to go for the Forward Castle was perfect. Maybe didn't see it with his Conk. And uh, Yo, I think very importantly here, patched up all the holes that he made in his walls to escape with, like, Villagers and his Scouts and whatnot. So Vivi couldn't just sneak right through with the conks. He had double layer wall everywhere. And if Vivi can't get into your base with the conquistadors, you can control his movements in the center with the monks and with the castle. Really, really nice game, though. That one goes in favor of Yo. We can see 75 Ratha created. Really, really nice. And uh, worker efficiency overall, much better for Yo. Then Vivi significantly better. Maybe because Vivi had YOLO missions for his vills. <laughs> Trying to go out and, and kill stuff for Mr. Yo once he got supremacy. Conversions, 26 for Yo. Army high, 71. Eco, much better as we can see. And Relic Gold, 3,900, right? Big difference. That's part of the reason he had so much res floating. He got the Relic super early. Exploration for him was really good. And then, of course, Villagers. The number looked good at the end there for Yo. And our APM chat, both of these guys, you know, a little bit slower than your average pro player, but they make it work. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This was a fun game. And uh, maybe I'll do some more YouTube casts soon. Have yourself a good day and keep your stick on the ice. All right. Peace.